Hi OTs, this is Stephanie from Pass OT. I hope your studying is going well. I'm going to show you how to get every question right with six simple steps. Simply fill in the blanks or write it down on your whiteboard and remember the mnemonic. Read with diligence. Hold on. Read with diligence and patience before answering. So step one, R for read the question carefully. So here's the question. Henry, a 42-year-old software engineer who has multiple sclerosis, uses a standard wheelchair for mobility. He has recently had an exasperation of his symptoms, especially in his level of fatigue. Henry also complains of more severe upper back and neck discomfort and increased weakness in his upper extremities. He works in IT and his workstation is equipped with a computer monitor adjusted to eye level and a wrist rest in front of his keyboard. Henry currently remains seated in his wheelchair throughout his workday and he states that he plans to continue to do so. Which modification would be most beneficial to recommend to Henry so that he can continue sitting in his wheelchair during work tasks without exasperation of his symptoms even further. Step two, where is the question at in the OT process? It's in the intervention stages. Step three, D, D for disease or diagnosis. What is the patient's disease or diagnosis? Is the disease progressive or non-progressive? Well, we, he has multiple sclerosis and the, the type of MS is not stated in this scenario, but we do know it's chronic. Most people with MS have a relapsing remitting disease course. They experience periods of new symptoms or relapses that develop over days or weeks and usually improve partially or completely. These relapses are followed by quiet periods of disease remission that can last months or even years. Step four, P for problem. What is the patient's problem? What is the patient's level or performance or function? What symptoms are they experiencing and what are their goals? Well, there is exasperation of symptoms such as fatigue, upper limb weakness and pain, back and neck. Step five, B. What is in bold or caps? For example, necks. What is the question specifically asking? If no bold or caps, what would you highlight as being essential to answering the question? What is the most beneficial modification to recommend to Henry so that he can continue sitting in his wheelchair during work tasks without further exasperation of his symptoms? Step six, A. Is your answer addressing the problem, question, or goals? Is this answer ethical, safe for the patient, patient-centered, occupation-based, and purposeful? So here are the answer choices. A, multiple insert full forearm supports and lumbar support. B, foam cushion mobile arm support and a split design keyboard. C, voice to text computer input system and touch screen monitor. D, electric power adapted wheelchair with tilt in space feature. Well, we know that B is not correct because the foam cushion does not provide enough support and the patient shows some function and range with upper extremities. Therefore, he does not require an, a mass or split keyboard. C, the voice controlled feature addresses fatigue, but the touch screen does not. D, this does not address ergonomic positioning. Therefore, A is the correct uh, answer, which is multiple insert, forearm support, and lumbar support. The multiple insert can be customized to meet the patient's needs to ensure pelvic alignment and support. The forearm support would provide upper extremity stability. Altogether, the modifications would reduce postural discomfort and muscular fatigue. I hope this breakdown was helpful for you today. We have tutors available to help you with your areas of weakness and the questions that you're getting wrong. Feel free to sign up at PassTheOT.com. Have a great day, and remember, we are here to help you from the day you sign up to the day you pass and beyond. Bye!